And now we have to refer back to the function. This is the function. We have to figure out what this is f of a plus h. And let's do that on the side. I know that f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then to get f of a plus h, let's look at this f of a plus h. What we need to do is plugging a plus h into all the x that we have in the original function. And it looks like we have 3 times a plus h and then raised to a second power. Then minus 4 times the x becomes the a plus h. And then we have the plus 1 after that. I will just write this down right here. We have the 3 right here. And then if you do a plus h squared, multiply the dl twice, like a plus h, a plus h, you end up with a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. That's equal to this. And then for the second part, I can take this negative 4 and distribute inside, which I will end up with negative 4a minus 4h, and then we still have the plus 1 at the end. And now for this part, let's just distribute the 3 all the way into the first parentheses. I have 3a squared plus 6ah plus 3h squared minus 4a minus 4h plus 1. That's what we have. And now, with that part, so that's just computations, I'm going to plug that in into the first. So this is what we're going to get. This is the limit when h is approaching to 0. And then we still have the h on the denominator. On the numerator, we have all this expression, so we just need to write that down for f of a plus h. So let me do that. 3a squared plus 6ah plus 3h squared minus 4a minus 4h plus 1. Okay, I'm just plugging over there. We have to minus f of a. Well, to get f of a, we just need to let me write down minus. I just need to plug in a into all the x in the original function right here. So I end up with 3a squared minus 4a and we have plus 1. And that's the expression that we have at the moment. And now let's see if there's anything that we can do. And there is a few things that we can do. Here we have 3a squared. And then we have a minus 3a squared. So this and that cancel each other out. And then we have negative 4a right here. This is the minus minus 4a. So this 4a and that 4a, they also cancel each other out. I have a 1 right here and a minus a 1 right here. So the 1s also cancel each other out. And let's see what do we have left. 6ah plus 3h squared minus 4h on the top. And let me write that down again just to be more clear, I would say. On the bottom, still have the h. On the top, I have the 6ah plus 3h squared and then minus 4h. And the good thing is that everybody on the top have an h. I can factor out the h. So I'll factor out the h, I will have 6a left and then plus 3h left and then minus 4 left. This h and that h cancel each other out. Well, what can we do after that? Plugging 0 into the remaining h. Be careful with this. It's h approaching to 0, so plugging 0 into h. So it looks like 6a plus 3 times 0 into h. So 3 times 0, and then we still have the minus 4. And of course, 3 times 0 is 0. 6a minus 4, that's the answer.